My dear friend Alice is here and she's very clever because she's got a new book out in praise of veg. It's a sensational book and we're going to be doing one of the recipes from the book. What are we making today? Making lemongrass fish pops. Oh, yum. Yeah. So fish pops, but lots of veggies, right? Absolutely. Uh, the lemongrass acts as the flavouring, but also the skewer. Mm. So I'm going to start with that yes. component. Okay. You're going to get onto the fish mix. Yes. Um, and it's really, really simple too. So what kind of fish have we got for this? We've got some hapuka, mm -hmm. uh, but you can use any firm fleshed fish. So monk fish, mm. um, you know, uh, rockling, whatever you use in a curry, yes. use in here. It'll keep its shape nice and um, And I guess cleanly. you want a fish that is going to be slightly sticky when you blend it, so yes. it does wrap around the skewer. Yes, but blitzing it is what brings out the proteins and helps yes. it stick. Nice yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Curry paste. This is green curry paste. Mm -hmm. uh, give it a taste, whatever you've chosen to buy, because some can be quite salty. So it just means that you know mm. to season it differently. How's the flavour on that? It's seasoned perfectly, so it probably doesn't need salt. It doesn't need salt, mm. definitely not. So three tablespoons oh, of that. Spicy too. <laughs> uh, and meanwhile, I'm going to turn these little lemongrass bits into some skewery bits. Okay. Now, what you'll find with lemongrass is that it's actually the bottom that has the most flavour. So that I'm going to use as part of my dressing. Right. So while you're actually... The last thing I'm going to get you to put in there is um, some lime leaf. Okay. Macro lime leaf or otherwise known as kaffir lime leaf. Yes. Just chop that finely and then... In the whole lot. The blitzer. Yeah, whole lot. Okay. It's all about aromatics and flavours mm. in this recipe. Yeah, and when you think of veggies, you know, you think of the classics, but there's more in the wonderful world of veg, including all the herbs and totally. lemongrass, yes. the limes. They're so much um, flavour in everything that we should be using more of it in our cooking, right? Yes, and lemongrass. Gosh, if you're a fan of lemon, then you're going to be a fan of lemongrass. Mm. It's so um, zesty, citrusy. What I've done there is I've chopped it to the point, I learnt this actually from a chef, um, Jerry Mai. Yes. You might oh. have had Jerry on the show as well. She's amazing. Amazing. Yep. Yep. And Jerry taught me that what you're looking for here is um, the middle needs to be not too thick because that's right. the woody end. So the bottom's quite woody, mm -hmm. whereas as it gets to the middle, it's nice and fine. Oh, that's a lovely little trick. I like that's that. That's a good one. Yep. Okay. And now we're just going to chop that nice and finely for our dressing. And even though the food processor will blitz everything so it's a nice paste. Mm -hmm. I'm still cutting the lime leaves up quite fine just yeah. because... You want it to be evenly distributed. That's right. Yeah. OK. Gee, it smells good. Ah. <laughs> well, between the the, uh, the macaroon lime leaf and the lemongrass, yes. that's like citrus central. Absolutely. OK. So in that goes. Yes. And I'll give that a blitz nice. until it's all mixed up nicely. Cool. And meanwhile, I'm just chopping this lemongrass nice and finely mm. and that's going to go into the dressing mm. for our pomelo salad. Yum. Pomelo and green mango. Yeah. Let's pop a tablespoon of jaggery or palm sugar mm -hmm. into that as sure. well. Um, just because I think fish is gorgeous and naturally sweet and so the jaggery kind of adds to it. Um, you'll see it Cold jaggery or palm sugar as well. Okay. So in goes my palm sugar into my pot. That fish sounds like it's ready to go. So I'm going to keep going with this dressing. Mm -hmm. um, and so that jaggery or palm sugar is... <laughs> Can you feel that? <laughs> Chilling. That's there. Uh, <laughs> that's going to go into the dressing alongside this finely chopped lemongrass. Can you pick the leaves for me for now? The coriander and mint leaves. Can do. Coriander, mint leaves. Mm -hmm. And then the lime juice. Again, another layer of citrus. And, hey, how good are these nifty little citrus squeezes? I know. I thought I'd put that on there to impress you. Thank Alice, you. you. like that. Yeah, all about it. Kids love doing this. This is a really fun job to do. So you're actually putting all of your ingredients into a pot to dissolve the sugar yeah. to make this dressing and then it'll cool down. All of the liquid ingredients go into the pot right? so that they help dissolve that palm sugar yes. yep. and then we're going to add things like um, the lemongrass which doesn't need to be heated. Then the fish sauce. Yep. Cool. So there we go. Mm -hmm. And then give that a little stir, stir, stir. While I'm doing that, Schofield, if you can get the fish mix out of the food processor. All right, let's have a look at that. See how it's nice and sticky? That's what we're after. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Great. I'll take that blade out. Great. You can really smell that gorgeous curry paste that we added to that. Yes. And this is quite sticky and that's how we want it, don't we? Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing that you can do is to, to keep it from sticking to your hands mm -hmm. is have a little bit of water okay. nearby and that stickiness Grab about a golf golf ball sized amount out, or <laughs> squash ball sized amount, <laughs> and then into one of these skewers made with the top of the lemongrass. And these will go into the fridge for about an hour. Okay.
Schofield, the fish are in the fridge. Yep. The dressing is ready to be made. While this is hot, I'm going to pour it over the lemongrass to release even more of that flavour. Mm. Flavour, flavour. And then... That's going to be a good dressing. Really good dressing. <laughs> peanut oil and chilli flakes. Meanwhile, can you start by chopping yes. the spring onion for the salad? And I'm not doing any chopping. I'm actually going to just use a julienne peeler yes. to peel the green mango. Nice one. Do you use green mango much? Look, when I can find it, I do love to use it. Mm -hmm. It's got a... Unique, it's not like the classic ripe mango because, no. well, it's a green mango. Yes. It does have that real lovely crunchy flavour. And the tart. Yes, yeah. the tartness of it. Now, one tip though, once you peel it, it's very slippery, so yes. I'm using a tea towel to grip. Yep, I like your, I like your style. <laughs> All over and it. And of course, if you don't have one of these fancy peelers, you can just do it with a knife. You can, yeah, just boop, 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 and then slice off each layer. So in goes the green mango. And then we're going to use one of my favourite, most underrated of Southeast Asian fruits, the pomelo. Mm. Mm. Yes. Pomelo is like a giant citrus and it's got these kind of caviar-like cells inside. So once you peel open here... Jeez, I love when you use those words. <laughs> it's a perfect way to describe it. There. And then you can just kind of peel these cells into the salad. Mm. And I'm not going to make a huge salad, it's just for the two of us. Yes. Well, we, we are quite greedy, aren't we? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay, maybe for three normal people. <laughs> And I've just got some shallot here too, so we're just adding that, some purple shallot. Yes. Now, we're going to use two different colours of pomelo. We've okay. got the pink and... Oh, oh brute strength! <laughs> <laughs> the yellow as well. While I stand here, just... Do you want to do this? Yeah, I'd yeah, love to. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll go and get those bad boys from the fridge. Okay. And because it's a nice non-stick pan, I don't need to do much in the way of oiling. Okay but I am going to just brush them with a bit of that leftover peanut oil just mm -hmm. to encourage them not to stick. Fantastic. Are you ready for this jelly? Yes. Okay, while I do that, can you pick the leaves off those herbs? I do. We're actually using, it's like we're using the leaves as the lettuce component of yes. the salad. And that's what I love about Southeast Asian food. It's big, bold flavours. Instead of just lettuce leaves, sometimes they can be quite plain. Mm -hmm. This is Big and bold. Big and bold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll finish this salad off. We'll finish cooking our gorgeous fish pops and bring it together. Sounds good. These are charred on all sides. Mm. The inside will have cooked through. Let's dress this salad sure. and get this on the plate. Can't wait to try this dressing. Yes. So I'm going to add some of it now. Yes. And we'll dress and taste as Great. we Great. Yes, and if you are going to take this to a bring a plate situation, bring your dressing separately in a jar yes. and dress a la minute. A la minute. <coughs> exactly. I just love the colours. Happy yes. colours. You know it's good for you too, right? Yeah. And I haven't forgotten these gorgeous nuts that we've toasted. Uh -huh. We've got some cashews. Mm -hmm. In they go? Yeah, in they go. And also save some for on top. Oh, yep. Okay, I've just a few. And <laughs> some peanuts. And toasted peanuts as well. And then mix that all around, pop that in the bowl, and these are well and truly ready. I really think that heating all of that in the pan and then pouring it over the lemongrass to release flavour is, is the kicker. Absolutely. The yep, I agree. I mean, sometimes you can just make the dressing in the bowl, leave it as is, but warming it through, it's almost brought out those essential oils from that oh, lemongrass that yes. we've used. Nice one. Exactly. The colours are gorgeous. All right, and then we're just going to arrange these in a way where people can just grab them, mm. as you might, a skewer. Oh, look at that. It's a work of art right now. Work there. of art. <laughs> Done. It's like it's been styled by an actual food stylist. And look, it's meant to be because that little one has our name on it. Yeah, Maybe we should true. cut that in half Let's and have a it. taste together. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Well, Perfect. Yes. Oops. And the fish will keep cooking once it's off the heat. So if you're worried that, you know, a little bit of it isn't cooked through, residual heat will do the job for you. Well, that's just perfect. Yeah, that is Big good for you. cuisson. Excuse me, but I'm going to definitely do this. Dip. <laughs> Dip your life away. That sauce is amazing. Mmm. Alice, that is amazing. <laughs> really good. Oh, that is addictive. I love this salad and I love the way you use your veggie. You're making it cool to eat veggie, and that's what it's all about. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.